I've, I've said a lot of good things about the Goofy. He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of our Disneyland Paris vlog series, April 2023. What's the time? Like 8am? 20 past 8. 20 past? Oh well, we might, we're setting off a little bit later than <laughs> planned, but we've got extra magic time, hour, so we thought we'd try and make the most of it anyway. Anthony um, went and got us some hot drinks in the morning using the little uh, hack, I suppose, that you have. Oh, cool outside. But yeah, if you stay in a Disney hotel, you get like two dining, two drink credits per night. So we we'd only used one yesterday. So Anthony yeah. was like, let's just get a hot drink. Nice start to the day. I think we're going to be heading to Walt Disney Studios as well because Anthony doesn't have much of a memory. Yesterday I mentioned to him, I was like, there's another park called that in uh, Walt Disney Studios. And Anthony was like, there's two parks. <laughs> <laughs> Which just made me so happy. I totally didn't know. But it makes me so excited. I just because assumed it was all in the same thing. In the same Disneyland park. But no, there is a whole other park. This is how much I haven't planned because I'm like, this is my planet. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. So yeah, it's going to be an amazing morning. And then we're probably going to head over to the other park later. Park up for some ready for the ride. We are walking to the bus stop and Lord have legit mercy. There are quite a lot of people here this morning so hopefully she'd be okay getting on the bus I love you, my old friend. <laughs> that was the lovely voice of Anthony Ward here um, the bus has arrived I was in the aid okay it's a big one so hopefully we should be okay a few moments later well, well we didn't make it onto the first bus it's literally about to leave it is packed but thankfully in the mornings they have buses a bit more frequently because I know it's peak time for people to go to the park so this one should hopefully be absolutely fine okay, with us because well. not a lot of people left anymore. And within literally about five minutes we are at Marla Valais train station which is the station at the Disneyland uh, Paris resort. You can see Tower of Terror over there. We're hoping to get on that at some point this morning and yeah crowds of people heading into the park. So we are now officially here basically just outside Walt Disney Studios Park. Security was nice and easy today as well, probably only took about three or four minutes. It can be busier in the mornings or during peak times, you know, just after the parade, for instance, if you're entering the park or just before the fireworks. But um, yeah, really not too bad. Very rarely lasts more than like five, 10 minutes. Walt Disney Studios Park here in front of us. I'm so excited. I'm excited for a morning of thrills before we back go back into Disneyland Park um, for an afternoon of magic with Dream and Shine Brighter. Anthony's just gone through. Let me scan my card. There you go. Oh, cute. Um, we are in. Anthony's just taking a photo of the entrance, which I really like and I feel like it's underrated. The entrance of Walt Disney Studios Park Studio One, I think, is such a cool reveal of this park. Oh, look, there's Mickey just on your like little shoulder. What are your thoughts of this 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 entrance uh, so far? We've got the Mickey. They call it like the Airfall Tower because it's got ears. Airfall. Oh, that's clever. It's quite cute, isn't yeah. it? You've it's got very. The it, I feel like I'm going to film a movie. Yeah. So I guess it's. Well, you it's are a movie star, yeah, so it's, fantastic. It's, it's, so here you go. We are inside Studio One. Doesn't look too busy either. It is still uh, currently Magic Time, Magic Hour, officially. We've got 45 minutes of it. That that feet work over there, phenomenal. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to go to Avengers Campus first, hopefully to try and do Spider-Man's web adventure. That's one that normally does get long throughout the day. They always have a single rider line open for it, which is what I tend to use. But if you're here with a friend, it's sometimes more fun to actually just compete. How's life? You're just like looking everywhere. I love it. You're like, Ooh, like do we where's go? everything? Yeah. Where do I go? <laughs> Liz Walton and Mickey say hi to them. Hi. How are you doing? You alright? Fair, fair. You've got a bit of a... Oh, oh yeah, he does have something head. on his... Uh, Walt is not looking his best this morning. <laughs> you look a bit rough. Did you have a rough night? <laughs> okay, so we've uh, had a quick look at the information board over there. It's currently 8.45. Spider-Man's adventure is already at 25 minutes, so that is definitely going to be our number one ride. And here we are, officially entered the Avengers campus here. It's nice to see it's so quiet. This land is one of my favourite lands here since it opened in July of 2022. Um, and I like just hanging out here, if I really do. And you don't really get to see it to this quiet. But of course, with it being extra magic time, which means only people who are staying in Disney resorts or who have particular annual passes can actually enter. It's a bit quieter at the moment for the next uh, probably 45 minutes or so. 25 minute wait time, as you can see over here. Let's head in. Bonjour. Officially in the queue. I'm actually happy to be doing this. <laughs> I don't know if people would have seen that. <laughs> yeah, I normally do single rider with this, so I'm so excited to do it with Anthony. Um, I love this attraction. It's a lot of fun. It's a full-on arm workout, but it's also loads of fun. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, of course it does. Let me pick one up as well. Yes, darling, you definitely look like Spider-Man. Um, so, 
yeah, we've got our 3D glasses. They actually skipped the pre-show with Tom Holland, which I thought was interesting. I wonder if it's because it's an extra magic time. We instead had a cast member explain it to us. But it means that we get to go straight onto the ride instead. Spider-Man's Web Adventure, for any of you who may not have been on it yet, is very similar to Toy Story Mania in the US parks and in Tokyo Disney. It's a 3D experience, so I'm not going to be able to film it too much, but it's a game. You get to shoot at the spider bots, the aim is to obviously shoot at them, and you get to just use your hands, which is so cool. The technology in it, I feel like, is really fun. And that's why I also call it an arm workout, because I'm competitive and I start really getting into it. And then by the end of it, I'm like, oh my god, my arms hurt. Watch your step as you move all the way into the swinger vehicle. Take a seat and put those webbings There you go. Anthony's positioned. Let's put our stuff here. We're doing a little selfie. I'm going to put you guys down because I want to try and do my best. Quel de toi? Quel de toi? Quel de toi? Guys, Anthony and I were very close, but Anthony won. That's his score. It was blue. That's mine. 177. Anthony's the best one in the whole cart. I'm second best. I can't believe you won, though. Oh, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. But yeah, so much fun. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Uh, I'm glad you liked it. It's so fun. Once you got into it. Once he got into it, that's when he, he beat my score as well. Yeah. I get it. I was so Yeah. Oh, I get it now. But it is so fun. And a really fun ride for children, I think, especially because it's like they can literally beat Spider Man. I love it. Anyway, we are now going through the shop. Straight out. We've got Flight Force here in front of us, Avengers Flight Force. I don't actually know what the wait time is for it, but this ride doesn't normally get to very long queue lines. So hopefully, it should be okay. Look at the Quinjet up there as well. So cool. So, yeah, that's going to be our next attraction. So, here we are. At the entrance, five minute wait for the regular standby line. Also five minutes for single rider. Of course, you know, we're gonna go together in the regular line. But I thought I'd show you the little warning situation as well. This is a full on roller coaster. It's what Rock and Roller used to be here at Disneyland Paris. I love the Avengers music. I feel like an Avenger. I feel like a superhero when I'm in Avengers campus. I think that's one of the reasons I love being in this land so much. And then you've got these cool posters of different uh, superheroes here. There's the Hulk over there. There's the Avengers logo. Are you excited? Five minutes. Five minutes. I know. It's amazing. Just seen it. Shh. Yeah. Off. You... Can't get me. What's up? Yeah, we saw the little. You get a glimpse of it uh, in the queue line, but we should be on it very soon. Obviously, this is a ride that I can't film on. I I, I wouldn't want to film on anyway. It's mainly in the dark. But um, the roller coaster it goes upside down. There's turns. There's twists. It and it's a lot. Uh, it, does, it does go upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So be be prepared for that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna fully wake me up, I think, after this, and we might then grab something to eat. Riley, continue. Purge et rallume l'unité centrale et les générateurs auxiliaires. Oh, Captain Marvel. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. We've got a situation. As you know, Cree warheads are headed our way, and we need your help. I'm on my way. He's loaded the transponders into his hypersonic vehicles. So you'll fly the hypersonics and draw the missiles away from the planet. Okay guys, we're going on, so I'll speak to you after. We are off Flight Force, Avengers Assemble Flight Force. It's such a fun ride. What did you think? Oh, it was so good. It was I didn't expect the, the shoot up yeah. and loop straight away. As soon as, as we like, as, as soon as we like started the attraction, Anthony was like, Oh my god, like, I don't I didn't expect this and it just made me laugh so it was so fun experiencing with and, Anthony with yeah. it, obviously his first time on the ride. And it was very like hyperspace mountain yeah. but but I felt like it was a bit scarier. Like but you know? I think I felt like the beams felt closer to you, so it felt yeah. like you were gonna it was I was like this constantly like <laughs> Oh. Definitely, it feels darker. You can't see it the track as much. It's dark, and there's yeah. some. They are. They, they have definitely added some more screens to it. So there's more. There's some screens to see from time to time. But it's so much fun. It is very, very fun. Also, a lovely cast member before we went on the ride, Marika, I believe her name was, working at the attraction, Flight Force. Shout out to you. She said she watched the video, so it was lovely meeting her. And yeah, we're gonna take a small break now. Maybe get something to eat or drink or something and then we'll decide what we're going to do after well we were going to have a little break but i, I looked at it on the app and the tariff there is currently at the 15 minute wait one five so we thought we might as well do this one as well before we sit down and have a little drink there you go still at the 15 minute wait i love this attraction so much are you excited about this anthony I hate lifts. Oh my god. So, but so it's going to be um, terrifying but funny. It's going to be scary, but I'll be brave and yeah. I'll be fine. I can't wait. I can't but wait. We're all good. So we've just entered the hotel. Honestly, it's only been about five, six minutes so far. So I think actually, initially, I thought there was quite a few people in front of us. We thought it might be more like 25 minutes. Go on. Like five stars in here, isn't it? 
<laughs> I hope it's like a nice big bed. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Look at the and cobwebs, darling. Look at the cobwebs. I, don't, I, I kind of feel like you Ooh, might have set your expectations cleaner. too high. Be honest, the details in this attraction at Hollywood's Tower of Terror, it was the Studios Park. So cool. I love it. Even like the elements on the wall as well. It's like some of it's broken. Yeah, the rug as well. Very, very, very cool. Anyway, let's head in. <laughs> Au-delà, c'est une autre dimension, une dimension sonore, une dimension visuelle. Car dans l'épisode de ce soir, vous êtes la vedette, et cet ascenseur conduit directement dans la quatrième dimension. Well, we're more or less walking onto the ride. It's so cool seeing um, this attraction quite empty. And I was telling Anthony one of my favorite things about Tower of Terror is that the sequences are so different every time, so you can never expect what you're going to get. And anyway, it's the last time you're going to see Anthony looking like. Are you a bit nervous? <laughs> A little bit. I'm so excited. I'm it's also just the lift element of it. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Not everyone enjoys that feeling, but I'm not gonna film on this ride. You're not allowed to, so I'll speak to you after. How was Anthony? Traumatizing. That girl, I hate her. There's the girl who's like, that whatever was you do, not don't Disney. scream. Oh, no. That was not Disney. That was hell. Oh. Anthony's reactions. Me and Tara together were just like emotional yeah, support. Yeah, I can hear her. Yeah. She was going, oh my god, I'm so sorry. We're nowhere near together. It's <laughs> fine. I'm traumatized. Honestly, that was one of my favorite times riding it just because of Anthony's reaction and the girl who was sat next to Anthony. I could hear her as well. It was amazing. When you said like, this is not Disney. <laughs> and the girl is scary, right? She really yeah, is. Terrifying. And then Anthony was like, I'm going to do what I want. I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> I was like, She's like, don't scream, I've got a scream! So Groot is doing a little meet and greet over here. He's very popular. And then the Avengers car slash Jeep is also out now. This all happened in the 15, 20 minutes that we went on Tower of Terror. Avengers Campus has really come to life now because it's, the park is obviously now open fully to all guests. We've got Wakanda Forever show happening here as well. You're on the path to becoming warrior allies of Wakanda. Continue in this way. And you may leave each place better than you found it. Continue sur cette voie. Et vous ferez de ce monde un endroit meilleur. Nous nous reverrons, chers guerriers alliés. Until next time, warrior allies. Wakanda forever. Anyway, we're both quite hungry and Stark Factory is probably one of my favorite quick service restaurants uh, since it opened in July of 2022. As you can see the time here, hopefully you can see anyway, it is uh, 10.55 so we've got about five minutes until the restaurant opens. You can see a bit of a crowd waiting as well. Um, the quick service restaurants normally do tend to open closer to 11 so we're going to have a bit of a brunch situation going on. Um, and they have actually changed the menu a little bit since I was last uh, here at this restaurant so I'm looking forward to trying it I think I'm I'm debating between a pizza and a pasta the pizzas here are very good so much better than any of the other pizzas you can get here quick service wise um, we're some of the first people inside the restaurant today which is exciting we've got the Hulk Buster at the entrance which is awesome and yeah this restaurant actually has quite a lot of dining rooms as well so can accommodate loads and loads of people but exciting time are you hungry yeah I'm ready for Me too. chicky food Me pizza too. <laughs> I've already decided what I want it. What do you think you're gonna go for? I'm gonna go for that um, like zucchini eggplant one, okay. um, or courgette as we would say. But yeah, zucchini. okay. The so cool thing about Stark Factory as well is that, well, number one, everything is freshly cooked. You can actually see the the fire over there. They've just cooked the pizza. You pick whatever you want, and then you go and pay for it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for a pizza or a pasta yet. It's probably a pizza, but I'll show you once I've got it. So this is uh, almost like a mac and cheese. I have tried this before. It's pretty good, um, nice and cheesy. They've also got uh, uh, spaghetti bolognese here. This is, I think, the piece that Anthony said he wanted to go for. The slices are big, you can see that. This is the one that I've already had before, but when I had it, it was a little bit different. It's delicious, though, the uh, pizza stracciatella. And then they've got this one here with some cured hams on it. They so also do do some salads here. So they have a couple of vegan options, actually. 
I've heard the vegan salad bowl is meant to be quite good, but as you can see, I have decided to go for my trusty pizza, as always. And you can it's good that you can choose exactly the slice that you want. This is a big, this is almost like a full pizza. It's gonna fill you up, don't you worry. And I went for a little dessert as well. Tiramisu and an orange juice. At 11 and 5, I'm about to have brunch slash lunch. We also sat next to each other as well. You can see the Hulk behind Anthony. Uh -huh. Oh, smells good, smells good. Also, just in case you're wondering, everything together um, for me came to almost 20 euros, 19 euros something. I also got a dessert. So it's not bad. It's very comparable to some of the other quick services here. It's just not like a full-on menu. So. 19 euros? This was 17 euros? Really? With your drink and your thing? So the pizza, but I think... You got a dessert as well and the drink? And I, the bigger I got pizza. the discount with my annual pass. That's probably why. Uh, How much is a pizza yeah. on its own? And if, um, 13, I think. 13 euros, if I'm not mistaken. Something 11, 12 euros, maybe. Uh, hopefully you would have seen on the prices. But the pizza slices are big, so it might seem like, oh, it's, it's a lot. But how, how is your pizza so far? I know you already had a couple of... I'm gonna... We do have, I do have like knives and forks, don't you worry. But I'm actually gonna try and see if I can take a bite so you can just see the, the size of the, the comparison. It is a big pizza size. It's delicious. 20 minutes later. The pizza has been demolished. You enjoyed yours? Yeah, lovely. I'm legitimately quite full actually. Like I underestimate normally when I come here how big the slices are. Very good, very reasonably sized pizza. You know, fills you up as well. We both enjoyed it. I finished my orange juice. You, you're nearly done with your apple juice. Um, Anthony also picked a really lovely area for us to sit because we're right by the window, and the window is so clear. So we actually also got to see the Wakanda Forever show one more time as we enjoyed our lunch here. This is why I announced that we sat next to each other. I know it's, it might be weird when we're opposite each other, it's because we wanted to both have a nice view of Avengers Campus. I do still have my tiramisu here which lord have legit mercy it's quite big i might try some of it maybe anthony would you like to try, share some of the theory of tiramisu with me potentially oh, give it a go go on have a little try yeah um i'm curious about it i've never tried it before they have tiramisu at uh, bella notte as well but it's the first time it's a new dessert they've brought over here so we'll see see what it's like chill here for the next five minutes it's currently 11 30 and I think, yeah, we've done a lot already in this park. We're going to probably after this slowly but surely make our way to the other park because I want us to see Dream and Shine Brighter. I want Anthony to watch Dream and Shine Brighter for the first time at 12.25. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I agree. It's not like the most phenomenal term I've ever had, but... Oh, a quick the service. Nice. Hmm? The cream is nice. It is. I think it's cream. Yeah, the bottom there, yeah. yeah. Um, Jeremy's is one of my favorite desserts anyway, though, generally speaking. So, what would you say is your... And Anthony and I have been talking about food and life and everything. Today I found out that Anthony's not a fan of donuts. He would eat almost anything, he said, but not donuts. What's your favorite kind of dessert? For me, tiramisu is up there. Sticky toffee button. Mm, I okay. love sticky toffee button. Yeah, that's my thing. And, and, and I used to be a massive chocolate fan, but now I've sort of moved away from that. I, I love my carrot cakes and... Yeah, like sort of sticky toffee. Um, what else? I love just like ice cream. Anything else? Favourite ice cream flavour? Ooh. Do you want to I'm a bit of a mint chocolate chip person? I don't know why I had a feeling you would say that. I don't know why. Mint chocolate chip. Well done. Well, I'm really enjoying this um, little, well, it's quite big portion of Tiramisu actually. And I would love for you to leave a comment down below and let me know what your favourite dessert is. We are back at the entrance of Wanzi Studios Park with the partner statue there behind me. Anthony just gone to get himself an ice cream from one of the stands. Um, but I really wanted us to go to the other park for um, Dream and Shine Bright about 12.25. The closer we got to it, and we were still sat at the Stark Factory enjoying our food, and I'm a slow eater as well. It's just, I kind of realised it's probably not going to happen because I, I, re I really want Anthony's first time with Dream and Shine Bright to be in the middle of Central Plaza and like to get the full experience. We could make it to the other park and kind of catch the start of it, which is also fun, but like I said, I really want the full experience for Anthony. So, we do have a couple of things that we still want to do in this park. Anthony really wants to potentially do um, RC Racer in Toy Story Playland. Um, Ratatouille might be a good idea. And also, we actually also have um, a virtual queue for Spider-Man. And uh, I just checked and it's in 47 minutes. And it was a very, it was a palaver trying to get that as well, guys. It's the first time I've tried to do it with somebody, like not on my own. And because I've got an annual pass and Anthony's like ticket is the hotel ticket. 
Lord have mercy, it just wasn't working. It was stressful, I couldn't attach his ticket to mine, even though I had the reference number, I tried so many times, with a certain, it just wasn't working. Then he tried to do it on his phone to put my annual pass, which is a bit easier. We would see that he tried to scan my annual pass because we have a code on our passes. That wouldn't work either, so we just couldn't get ourselves to be together, um, which was annoying because we obviously want to meet Spider-Man together. Eventually, I just managed to get one for myself, spoke to a cast member because I actually had one already for myself and I spoke to a cast member and then they didn't really know what to do. So then I cancelled mine to try and figure it out and then we still couldn't make it work. So I went back and I was like, look, now I've cancelled my first one. And he was like, why did you cancel? I was like, well, but like, I don't, you know, I didn't, I, I don't know. And then he, he helped me re-enter, but it was again just for me. Um, so it's a bit of a problem. I think with um, uh, these like virtual queues in this land Paris, which is mainly for the characters, the virtual hero, heroic express, ex, ex, heroic experience, I think is what it's called. Um, if your ticket starts different, like mine's Daniel Pass and his is the hotel booking, it can sometimes make things complicated, even though the app shows like as if it should be fine and you should, should you know, technically be able to link your tickets easily. We tried both ways, multiple times, even a cast member wasn't able to do it, so I don't know. The cast member did say they'll make an exception and I like, just explain to them when you come and I'm hoping that whoever the cast member is by the time our time comes will believe us and know that, you know, that was exactly what happened. But who knows? Who knows? So we're going to try and do that anyway, though. And yes, I have now got a turning red cap, which I actually got from Walt Disney World. You may have seen it in my Walt Disney World haul video. If you haven't checked it out, the link will be down below. I also have a full series from Walt Disney World recently, my first time back in like three years. So you can check that out as well. Anthony is back with his crap and he just did a nice little <laughs> Instagram Shot shot. Disney. Yeah. Is it with Nutella or is it with sugar? Nutella. No, it well done. Nutella. Yeah, it has to be, especially here in France. Nutella. Exactly. It's good. <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna get an Insta story of it because I'm that kind of person. <laughs> Follow Go me on Instagram, it. thank you. Mr. Ant Ward, link down below. So, I've gotten this notification telling me heroes assemble, gear up. It's almost time to head to the hero training center now, which is exactly where we are. Well, here we are, my first time inside the training center. This is so exciting, actually. I've never done it before. But um, yeah, we've got uh, this little training weight area. Um, obviously, we're in a virtual queue already, so hopefully, we won't be. You look ready to be. You look like you've trained, darling, and you're ready. The lighting is terrible, isn't it? Yeah, because the lights are. I know it's being backlit, but it's okay. Life goes on. Who's your favorite superhero, Anthony? Um, <laughs> probably Spider-Man, to be fair. Yeah, Spider-Man's a popular one. I yeah. really enjoyed the guy as well. I love Spider-Man. Um, did you see the last Spider-Man that came out in 2021, I believe? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um, no Way Home. No yeah. Way Home was a good. I did. I've was, seen them all. It was good. Really good. Um, who else do you like in terms of Marvel? Yeah, okay. Any other Marvel characters you enjoy? Do you want to um, give a shout out to your nephew? I'm the <laughs> oh yeah, Thomas, who's yeah. five, loves Iron um, Man. And Hello. Then, <laughs> um, I the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that's my favorite. Oh, okay. I love Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. You know, I only watched it for the first time a few months ago, oh, and he was. And I've only watched the first one. I think still, maybe. Uh -huh. And it is fun. It's, it's so much more so fun than you would think. Good. Like it is. Good. And the music is. Yeah. Just brilliant. Mr. Like Mr. Blue Sky and all yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I agree, Gardens is, is cool. Right. And that's Captain and the Marvel just there, right? And the new one comes out soon, right? The new, there's Has, another Guardians coming out, yeah, comes they, out soon. And you know they actually had the premiere for it here in this land Paris at Avengers Campus, the world Oh, it must premiere. be really soon then. Which is very cool, yeah. Oh, this is the guy we saw this morning. Yes, I was just about to say oh, that as well. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, amazing time. Cast members of the team are great. Big shout out to them. No problem at all for me and Anthony to, you know, do this together, by the way, considering it was their own app's fault. So at 12.34, our number was called. Right. Oh, <laughs> you... Oh, I see your your dust. It's like why is Anthony on the floor? He's practicing his pose already. Love it. So um, <laughs> we have a door in front of us. Yeah. This is the door. The door. And we're just waiting for it to open. The cast members said it's an automatic door, but it might take a couple of seconds for it to open. We've been here now for a few seconds, and it's still not open. So we just wait here. The excitement is building up, but also I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> I am a little bit stressed, can you tell? Hi Spider-Man, I'm yeah. shy. Yeah, I just don't know, I'm excited. I, I, guess I'm, no, I'm, I'm I think Spider-Man's gonna be great. Spider-Man's definitely like, if I had to choose, and I'm really glad that we managed to get Spider-Man of all of them, because he's obviously the most popular, I think. Um, but he'll be great. We've seen him already on top of the his own ride, just walking around and doing some slips and all that stuff, so it's gonna be good times. Oh my God. Go oh, hello. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is. This is so exciting. Lord have mercy. We're in like a full on. We are in a training area. Yeah. Yeah. 
Where are you from? Hello. 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 Hello.
cars road trip. But also you can see the cranes there and I was telling Anthony obviously frozen land is currently being built. We don't have a date for it yet but I don't imagine it being until 2025, late 2025 at the earliest. But it is exciting. It is so exciting to know that they're constantly working on Arundel, the frozen land here. And it's actually going to be opening Hong Kong Disneyland later this year, 2023. So actually watch out because I am hoping to be there at Hong Kong Disneyland very soon after it opens. One thing you can rely on about this ride as well, Cars Rotor, is that it normally doesn't have a long line. So that's why I thought let's come and do it because we saw most rides had long queues at this time of afternoon. I still said to Anthony, do you want to do a ride that's just kind of relaxing? Not the most exciting, but it will give us something to do. And just like that, we are on the, on the car, on the van, whatever you want to call it. Big shout out to Adam and Victoria as well. Adam is celebrating his birthday today. Victoria's birthday was yesterday. Two of my lovely viewers that we just met in the queue. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Anthony has no clue what it's going to be about. But I'm glad that you're on that side actually. Because something does happen on that side. Beside your eyes. Nice yeah, there's a car there. sign, yeah. Anyway, let's go on this very See, exciting adventure. We're on, <laughs> we're on a lorry car. This is Anthony trying to be funny again. I was that I was being serious. <laughs> help, help me. Yeah. The route 66. She is full of the crazy, beautiful things. Two, one. <laughs> We're finally at the one exciting bit of the whole attraction. So. Anthony has no clue what's going to happen. Hopefully he'll at least enjoy the this part. Because it's literally the whole attraction is about this, this moment. Wow. Wow. It has been a couple of hours since I last spoke to you. I am actually at the Santa Fe Hotel currently on my way back into the park. So I'm using the little walkway path they've got going on, which only takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. And it's normally very lovely. It's a lovely, nice walk. I spent the past couple of hours back at the Santa Fe Hotel at the resort just because I wanted to do a little filming and also editing. Um, and Anthony wanted to do a couple of things that I didn't want to do, such as um, Indiana Jones, which is a roller coaster I've been on before plenty of times, but um, haven't for a few years, to be honest. It just gives me a bit of a headache, and um, I think I told him to go and see the Lion King show as well, a show that I literally saw a couple of weeks ago. So um, he got to do so his own adventure for a couple of hours. I came and filmed bits and bobs, and I'm now heading back into the park. I'm walking rather than getting the bus because. I don't know, I felt like it might be quicker this time around. And look how quiet. This is the um, Cheyenne Hotel Resort. They're literally neighbor Cheyenne and Santa Fe. And it's just so quiet at this time of evening. And just like that, I am already at the entrance of Disney Village. You can see the Panorama Magic Balloon over here. And New York Hotel, the Art of Marvel on my right hand side. And then of course, Newport Bay over there. So only, I've only been walking probably for about seven or eight minutes. This is a very convenient way to get to the parks from the hotels. I also bumped into a few of you guys on the way here. So that made the walk even nicer. A lovely family from the Netherlands. So they actually just went into a downtown restaurant at the New York Hotel to have their dinner there. And I'm heading into the main park um, to meet up with Anthony to go to Plaza Gardens, which is a character meal. Uh, I booked it. You guys, if you haven't watched uh, my first day one vlog, watch it. I'll leave the link down below but it was originally meant to happen yesterday but Anthony's flights from Newcastle were delayed like three four hours so he didn't get here on time so I changed it to the today and then <laughs> last night Anthony and I were just talking about things and restaurants and such and I found out that he's not the biggest fans of buffets so he loves characters but he's like he said generally speaking he would prefer a sit down meal which is the same as me I'm much more of a sit down like a full-on table service meal type of person uh, you know instead of buffets so now I'm like oh is this the right meal for him I really hope he enjoys it but because I wasn't so sure I've also managed to book us a table at Walt's restaurant tomorrow it will be a very different experience for him and I'm going to treat him to that as well so he's going to have two birthdays they meals here at Disneyland Paris because I just wasn't sure which one he's going to enjoy more and hopefully he's going to enjoy both of them. They're very different but they're both fun and I think they're both actually really good experiences at Disneyland Paris but with that being said I am at the security point here. I'm going to go ahead and walk through Disney Village and then let's speak to you when I'm at the park.
I've just met the lovely Bailey family. Where are you guys from? Michigan. Amazing, amazing. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Oh, wonderful time. So good to see you. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for watching the vlog. Bye bye. So we are at our table now at Plaza Gardens, which is a character dining experience. I just met the lovely Bailey family from the US as well who watched the vlogs. Thank you so much. Really lovely entrance actually to the restaurant. I'm also here with Anthony again. We are going to get to him and so he can tell you what he's been up to the past few hours. Yes. But we've also got Mickey there behind me. I think he's just there. So before Mickey comes, I need to actually give something to Anthony. So what? No, 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 no. Because obviously it was your birthday. I oh. kind of want you to wear this so that <laughs> hopefully. Thank you. Yeah, that's all right. It's cute. It's my favorite color as well. So so cute. Actually, the fact that you've taken your jumper off as well it means like this like blue on blue kind of. Blue so on blue. It's gonna look nice. There you go. Anthony's got his little badge. How's the last few hours been, darling? Oh uh, yeah, it's been kind of it. It's been um. So I, I did quite a few things. Disney Village in the end or no? Oh yes, I went to yeah? Disney Village, okay. sorry. I went there first mm -hmm. and I went to a few of the shops. I had a Starbucks to be honest, so I sat and had a Starbucks. Yeah. I got a free um, plastic cup as well. Oh, that, nice. from my, Cute. So I can take that home. She gave me, it was funny, she gave me a lid. And then I was like, what do I do with this lid? <laughs> And Fair. then my drink came and then I had to put the lid on at the right. It was very confusing. Okay. Anyways, we got there in the end. <laughs> and then um, I came back in the park and I went to the Indiana Jones ride. Mm -hmm. And again, didn't wait that long. Waited about 10 minutes. I think if I'd waited longer, I would have been a bit disappointed. Yeah, I did I did warn Anthony that it's just it's not my favourite. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's a nice thrill ride. It's yeah. just a life, as you said, for like a, if you don't wait too long, it's fine. Yeah, for a short 10 minute wait, it was great. And then I went and watch the Lion King show. Did so, you enjoy sing along? <laughs> bizarre. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really bizarre. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, let's just talk about Simba's costume. Simba's costume, it first of all, his wig. It looked like you could eat the wig, as in, do you know those licorice laces, like the yeah. red <laughs> and the green laces? Yeah, 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 yeah. Looked like that. What was that about? And also, it reminded me of Operation, you know, the because oh. you had the, the ribs and stuff. And I was like, that is not Simba. Really good the whole outfit was yeah. weird to me. I was like, what yeah. is this Simba? Um, but I get it, it's not it's not the real yeah, thing. It's meant to but be still that looked very out of place even yeah. still. Yeah. And then um I was I, the pole dancing in oh. Flying King, did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> the pole I, but it was very impressive, but it was like they literally like pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was so bizarre, but I, I love the bouncy bit though, when mm. they were bouncing, that was fantastic. And got some food and I got those little cheese bites. Oh, from uh, Fantasyland? Yes. No, wait, for um, Discovery Land. Where did you get them Like from? further up from, oh, where, where It's a Small World is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. It, like, by the little old mill thing. Yeah. It's so, it's so nice, aren't they? Yeah, they were lovely. Yeah, I love and them. And I got an ice cream as well. Cute. And a, and a bottle of water, not that What, it's like um, one of the, one of the um, uh, Alice in Wonderland ice creams? No, the Mickey Mouse one. Oh, cute. Mickey cute. Mouse. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah. Um, and then I, then it was the parade. Did you see that as well? So, so I, and I got actually before like, earlier. I caught the end of the parade with the tomorrow. Question is, oh, okay, so you got, got to see a bit of. That's all right. You're allowed. I didn't see the start of it. But the main parade, did the fire breathe dragon? Uh, the, no, wait, did the, 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 the dragon breathe fire? Out. It was steam. Okay, there was so some, there was something. Is it normally fire? Is yeah, there? Yeah, right, fire. The so they've kind of toned it down a bit. Did you like yeah. the parade? Yeah, it was good. Like yeah. it was, you know, had all the main characters. Yeah. Um, I like the dragon. The dragon is amazing. Very cool, yeah. Really picturesque. So that was good. And then I ended up actually accidentally following the um, the parade because mm. it finished. And then I wanted the, I had actually had one of the chargers. I got one of the chargers oh, out. Did you? So okay. I went back to put it back. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there. Okay. But that's that's it. So oh, well, good timing. <laughs> and then Mickey's literally now almost. I think he's going to be the next. Uh, we're going to be his next table. So excited. And I'm glad that Mickey's going to be the first character, Mickey, because there are loads of a few roaming around. <laughs> Have you not? I guess oh. Spider Man was probably the first one I met, really. Yeah, or well, Pluto yesterday. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, hello, Mickey, how are you doing? <laughs> You're good. It's, it's my friend's birthday. Uh, <laughs> Aww. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old. Um, <laughs> no, never say that, never say nah, that. No, that's not too bad. Oh, look at you guys sitting. Let me take a photo of you. Wait, wait, wait. You're so uh, cute. One sec. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Do you want one standing up as well? So Anthony's just gone to get his food, his first plate. 
Oh, he's come home. Oh my god, thank you. I literally, Goofy just came to me and I told uh, him, wait for my friend to come back, so he's gonna come to us in a sec. Amazing. What did you get in terms of food? I got, uh, I got like a little mix of like. Oh, you got the salmon. Mickey ball. Yes. Oh, the cute Mickey. I'll go back and get some more. Yeah, a bit. for sure. So, for sure. Well, I just... Hi, Goofy. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. I'm so happy uh, to see you, my friend Anthony. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Goofy? <laughs> Oh good, good stuff. <laughs> oh, give me an arm workout there. You know, Goofy. It, 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 like, I've said a lot of good things about the Goofy. He's a great guy. <laughs> Goofy, you're so cheeky. I love it. Pluto, you scared me for a second. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're hungry. Yeah, you want you want some of my friend's food. Mm, that's some chicken. <laughs> Oh, cute. Well, cute. do you want to get a photo with him? Let's do it. <laughs> Anthony, what did you just say to Pluto when you high five him? A high five, or is it a high three? <laughs> high three. Look at some of the amount of fingers he's got. Oh, Pluto loved it. He lolled. I lolled. It's just madness, and Goofy is still around over there. I think there might be one more character. I think Tigger or somebody else. In any case, Anthony's gonna get. His, he's already. He's gonna start his food finally. Enjoyable what you've had so far. Oh, lovely. Cute. I'm also gonna go to the buffet and actually get my food. I'm gonna take my ears off though, and I'll see you. Well, am I gonna show you the buffet? Yes, I'll take my camera and I'll show it to you very, very briefly. So, at Plaza Gardens for dinner, you can get some salmon over here, some rice, some kind of grilled sliced skirt steak over here, some of the Mickey potatoes that most of the buffets have been serving since the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary. They've got some fresh salad options over here, which is lovely. There's some um, smoked salmon here as well. Big fan of smoked salmon. Uh, some more vegetables. If you want to see a full-on video about everything available here, I'll, I'll leave the link down below. I'm kind of just quickly going through at the moment. This is some pumpkin soup in here if you want to get that. We've got some chicken over here. I think Anthony might have uh, got himself a piece of the chicken. They even have some mussels if you'd like to get some of that, some pasta. We've got a whole selection of dessert options here as well, which of course we'll get to later on. Very, very cute. Some nicely themed ones. That one looks cute. Chocolate cake. And then they also have the macaron towers too. So here we've got it. My first plate. I went for the chicken, which I think is the same as what Anthony got. Some rice, some potatoes, some green beans here. And I wanted to try some of that ste steak as well, because I don't think I've ever tried it before. So. I feel like it's a pretty colourful plate and I'm definitely going to go back for some more. I want to try some of the salmon too later on. Yeah, you enjoying Turn that back to us. Just, just totally ignoring me. I know, right? She's trying to flirt with me. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. It's okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How cute! How are you? Yeah. Oh, happy days. You get a nice little photo. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh you're so cute, Vinny. It's so we're beautiful, aren't we? We're beautiful together. <laughs> oh my god. I hope I haven't got chicken in my teeth. I think you. I think you were fine. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Hi, Mini. How are you? Oh, look at this cutie! Thank you, Minnie. Good to see you. Bye bye. <laughs> see ya. Oh, lordy. Okay. Um. <laughs> What's the drink situation? Is it like refills? Sadly not. I don't oh. think so. But you can get another one if you wish to go for it. Actually, I didn't read the full thing. There could be tomorrow in it. I don't know. Um, but I don't know how you get these out. I'm saying I saw these yeah. and thought we're going to get them, um, but I, I don't know where to start. I've got a couple as well, so I might also try them. I've never the mussels. Yeah, so. exactly. Uh, I've, I've only I've, I've only ever tried mussels once, and it was actually here at Disneyland Paris at another buffet a couple of years ago, and they were quite nice. And you said you tried mussels once before as well. Uh, a few times, yeah. like sporadically. Yeah, but, the, but it's the not often that I have them. But it, I do like them. Yeah, but the other ones, the shell things, that Anthony uh, brought over. There's yeah. one here as well. I, and these I, are cold as well. Oh yeah, you're right. They are. They feel so cold. I'll let Anthony try them first. I don't like you said. I, I don't I even don't know, know how to get it out. Because mussels, honestly, yeah. before I tried them for the first time, I literally like YouTube how to like do it. The mussels is easier. Unless there was like toothpicks or something next to it. I'm so sorry. Eeyore, you're so cute. He's so cute. Eeyore's the cutest. But then the way you just like did, you scared me, didn't you? I know you didn't mean to, Eeyore. How are you doing? You're so cute. Are you tired? My friend and I were just talking about how tired we are as well. We've had a long day in the park. We could deal with a bit of a nap. 
Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, should we get some photos? Yeah. Guys, we have parked up again. We are back in Walt Disney Studios Park. I didn't end up going for dessert because I'm just not feeling my best. Um, I thought it might be best just to skip dessert. Anthony has some and he enjoyed it though. But we are heading to Ratatouille now, L'Aventure Totalement Toquet de Rémy, because it's got a 15 minute wait time for regular standby and then five minutes for single riders. So, yeah. Have you ever been on a, on a Ratatouille uh, ride? No. No, because I think you, when you were in Florida, probably definitely wouldn't have opened because it only opened recently. Do you like the film? Yeah, I like the film. I like the film. Um, I haven't watched it in ages, though. So. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You, don't, you don't need to really know, even know much about it. You just need to appreciate food, which Anthony definitely is a foodie. Yeah, like I know. Probably even more so than I am. Um, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like donuts, as we've established. Conversation. Yeah, earlier this morning. I feel like I'm in France. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh, was and that a video? Yeah, I did vlog it. Another one of Anthony's dad jokes. But um, yeah, oh, I love this attraction so much. It's definitely my top two favorite rides here in the Walt Disney Studios Park. Are you ready for some rat action? I'm ready. Me too. You said that with some determination. I'm always determined, darling. I'm always determined. Uh, I'm ready. That's a whole Cheryl Cole reference from X Factor. Who, uh, to who does she say that to? Wait, to whom? Uh, to, one, to one of the contestants. She's like, oh, uh, okay. Are That's you ready? Funny. I'm ready. That is. Oh, I'm I ready. remember that. I'm, okay, I kind of remember. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know of Cheryl Cole. We're literally going to be the next people on to the right. And we are going to be number one, which is exciting. I was just telling Anthony last time I was here, um, I was managed to do a cute. Oh, Anthony's just singing S Club 7. I got to do a very fun walkthrough journey with this ride with an Imagineer and you probably would have seen this vlog, I'll leave it down below. Obviously I wasn't able to film it but it was really cool because this ride is so technologically advanced it's just amazing to see all the behind the scenes of it. So this is my first time going back on it since that experience and I'm looking forward to seeing what Anthony thinks of it. I'm really excited. <laughs> I love, love a non-trackless. Yeah. Why, why do you call it trackless? Trackless, that's the one, yeah. The chef Remy is waiting for you. This way. Wait. Wait. That's it. <laughs> We're not even moving. We're in the fridge, I think, or something. Hi. 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 Well, Ratatouille was awesome as always. Did you enjoy it, Anthony? Oh, that was really good, yeah. yeah. Really immersive. I think that I was saying it reminds you a little bit of the Pirates of the Caribbean screenage. In Shanghai Disneyland. In Shanghai Disneyland. Yeah, because it's like more well, modern. The difference with that one is you get the glasses to do the 3D. True, true. Um, and then, again, if trackless ride it's fun I, I would have happily sat on that again actually yeah <laughs> i know it'd be nice to get to do it twice i'm so glad anthony enjoyed it but we have now come back in the toy story playland because it's 9 p.m it's on and it's 15 minutes no way oh my god we're gonna do rc racer guys lord have mercy 15 minute wait time and 10 minutes single ride this is the time to do rides evening time from 8 p.m onwards because most people are either in bed or back in their hotels or eating so right time it is the queue line for this ride oh there's an anthony there look at him <laughs> um the queue line for this ride is so long um and honestly whilst this ride can sometimes can get queue times of up to maybe 60 even 70 minutes um i don't know if it necessarily requires this long of a queue line it's a cool track though but yeah <laughs> i don't know if you guys just heard anthony said imagine queuing this long but yeah it's um we've walked a thousand miles <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to going on this ride. It's one that I don't get to go often because um, single rider, as you saw, it said 10 minutes for single rider, 15 for uh, standby. And that's normally the case if it's longer as well. So if standby is like maybe 50, 60 minutes, single rider often tends to be only maybe 10 or 15 minutes lower. So it's not like that big of a difference, which means that I don't get to go on it often when it's, uh, when it's busy. And it's one that I really enjoy, even though I can't film on it. So hopefully you can excuse me the fact that I won't be able to show it to you. But you know the premise. It's like a big, almost like a big pirate ship type of ride, but almost in a roller coaster way. It's very thrilling. I'd say it's probably the second most thrilling ride here in Walt Disney Studios Park after Tower of Terror. I say this is scarier than uh, Flight Force, in my opinion, because you're practically vertical. But I love that sort of thing, so I always have a good time. There you go. You can see how it goes. The first one's not too bad, and then it's gone. So 
so far we've probably been waiting in the queue for about 10 minutes so I think it's going to end up being accurately 15 minute wait but I thought I'd show you the warning signs well you have to be 120 centimeters uh, at a minimum to be able to ride this ride and I think we should hopefully be able to go on either the next one or the one after that. Anthony we're going to be on the front are you excited? Right. I cannot believe it we were just talking about how on this ride it's probably best to be either on the front or on the back because you get the you know, ultimate experience and go the highest and the customer said one to us and we both were like yay and she was like well, you're welcome so didn't get her name the customer was amazing so yeah obviously I'm going to put you guys away and I'll speak to you after the ride we just come off RC Racer that was oh, so much fun so, fun. It? so good one. kind of doing it in the dark as well you got really cool views of the whole land um it's so funny before we went up though <laughs> there's two seat belts that you have to put on actually there's one like in between your legs and one like proper one from the over the shoulders and i forgot about the second one cast member came and he was like pull on your yellow strap and i was like what yellow strap and then he joked he was like you need to put this on as well have you got a death sentence uh, do you, what did he say do you want have you got a death, death sen sentence yeah. sentence and i we just i just laughed i was like no i don't want to die and then he put it on and i was like thank you you've saved my life but um, should we see what the queue's like for the parachutes? parachutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what's the time? We've got, we've still got about uh, 40 minutes, huh? And the time is now close to 9:30 p.m. At 10 p.m. in about half an hour's time, they're going to be hopefully doing the drone show here on Tower of Terror. I think it's called Power the Night, and it's only really on for another few weeks. I believe it ends towards the middle of May 2023. Yeah, I believe the, the reason the show is going to be stopping is not because Disney doesn't want it to be playing at the on, on Tower of Terror. It's because in the summer months, the park just France generally gets dark very very late so with Disney Studios only closing at 10 p.m. it just it's not going to be dark enough for them to be able to continue the show unfortunately so I think that's the reason and I truly believe they'll bring it back so if you haven't managed to see it yet don't worry I, I don't think it's the end of it drone shows have now become a big part of Disneyland Paris's identity and this one's been really popular so we will come back but I'm looking forward to seeing it tonight again but yeah with this show as well you don't necessarily need to come too early like currently it's about half an hour before the show and as you can see there are plenty of spots available here in front of Tower of Terror. Obviously this isn't the best view at the moment but if we keep going to the left you'll be able to see the show very well. The drones happen right next to Tower of Terror and some people have taken their spots but like I said it's not as many as people would do for you know the regular fireworks show in the main park and it's also worth noting that Tower of Terror and also Avengers Campus both close Shazam. early oh, because of this show. But your training cannot be complete without one last special lesson. Honestly, this show is amazing. 
and I'm not even the biggest Marvel fan. I don't necessarily know Marvel as much as some of, some of you might do. But that show, isn't it just so cool? The projections, the no, like the drones that go well. It's so uh, phenomenal, as, as Anthony said. Phenomenal. Love it. I'm so glad we got to see it. And I hope it comes back because it is so, so good. It is some time later. We are now back in our room, Santa Fe Hotel. You can see Sleeping Mater there behind me. It's like quarter past midnight. Um, I need to pack because we are leaving tomorrow evening. Not fully leaving. We're going to Paris, which is going to be exciting. Make sure you still watch. And tomorrow we've got some time in the parks as well. However, um, Anthony got a couple of things from World of Disney on the way out. And I thought he would show them to you. So take it away. This is my little bag that cost me two euros, which is recyclable. So um, I learned that from, well, I assumed myself, but I did learn it from the um, cast, cast member. member. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with a cheeky little discounted product, which was minus 40% off, which they had quite a few little knickknacks, but minus 40% mm -hmm. off here and there, which we did use with the face mask. Yeah, but yeah. this, this, today's 40% off is a little bath bomb cauldron of Maleficent. Nice. I, well, I see Maleficent, Maleficent, you know, I see yeah. that, I switch between the two. Um, I really like Maleficent, I just find her just the sassy queen. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a cauldron bath fizzer, um, and I'm very excited to have a lovely warm bath with this. Maybe because it's bank holiday, and Ooh, I'll have a bank holiday nice. bath. So then, we've got two I'm of excited these. about these next items. Ready for reveal? I'm ready. Brown paper! <laughs> 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 um, can you guess what these might be, eh? Leave can you comment guess? comment down below, guys. I mean, I have no idea what this could be. <laughs> I don't know. So, we're gonna. to be fair, I don't know which one we're going to reveal first. That's true. That's a nice, so, a nice element of surprise oh, for us. Here we go. The first one is... Dum, bum, you will bum. see before me. You won't because I'm here. Jack Skeleton. Cool. Oh, so, so, uh, yeah, that's the side with him, yeah. I, I love these marks. What a great choice! Like good, good. My execution of that was not how no, I did no. it. I kind of. <laughs> so yeah, um, for my for my flat. So um, I have the Jack Skeleton. I've Jack Skeleton. Uh, do you know what it is? When I was did like theatre when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I actually sang. What's this? What's this? I did it as a little thing, cool. and I think I've always had a fondness for uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Fair. because of that. Also, my um, and you can see Sally there as well on the side. Yes, it's Sally's a lovely there. mug. And how much was this? We're in the Sally block. Oh yeah, we are in the Sally block, and there's another Sally. Sally. You've got the the, the the other Sally, the cooler Sally, Watch I suppose. Yeah, you will know what that means. Um, yeah, make sure you watch part one. Is... This time I'll reveal it better. Okay. And we know what this one is. Yep. It's oh, of course it is. Um, um, so I there was a, there was a bowl of this one. Um, and I nearly I wanted the Maleficent one, uh, but then I was going to get Maleficent and the this ball, but it just didn't match with having Maleficent and the ball. It matched because it was colours, but mm. I didn't need a ball because I bought the ball yesterday. Did I think? Did I show the yeah, ball? Uh, I did. I think, I, I the, think so. Yeah. In the shop, so I've got mm -hmm. these two, and then I've got a Mickey Mouse ball. The Mickey Mouse ball is currently chilling works. over there. That yeah. works. So, um, so there's my life in organisations <laughs> of balls and mugs. <laughs> so. Who's the mug here? <laughs> that was. <laughs> no, you've made some great choices. They're beautiful mugs, and I'm very happy for you, Anthony. Um, and, the bag. and the bag, of course, and the and the bath fizzer, whatever it's called. Is it a bath fizzer? Is that what you call the them? Bath bomb. Bath it's a bomb. bath bomb. But this is called a fizzer on right here. Amazing times. We right. Well, with that, it is close to well, it's half past midnight, and tired. Need to pack. Need to sleep. So thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It's been another long one. Um, like I say, we've got another vlog tomorrow from Disneyland, Sorry. Paris. That's all right. Oh, you, that, don't you worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> I mean, Anthony was like, no, no, no. You can, you can carry on. Oh, you can just say goodbyes for now. Say your goodbyes first. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely time watching <laughs> our chaos of a few days. <laughs> and by chaos, I mean absolute joy and thrills of Disneyland and the presence of Santa God. Oh, you're so cute. It's been amazing. Um, make sure you subscribe because the next vlog should be coming up very, very soon. And then there'll also be a Paris one, like a proper Paris one. We're going to go into the city on Friday. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.